a world of chaos. It's called Death World now, Way. Overrun by monsters. Humanity means a hero. How do you know Rue isn't just fucking with us again? Because he is attuned to it. But instead, we got this fucker. Oh, 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 okay, okay! What's with you fuck starting fights all the time, you fucking idiot? A hopeless quest. What do you want, Rue? I just found you this! I don't even know what the hell this is. It looks like it was drawn by a fucking autistic child with scabies. Something to bring your boyfriend back. You can't bring people back. A personal mission. Do we really need to go to the sludge? If you want to get my brother back, he was taken from me at the same time as, uh... Ah! By We are absolutely fucked. Do it! Do it! Ah! Ah! What is this thing? Well, he has a blade. That's mine! These weapons are the only thing that can make them bleed. How do you know? Because I hurt him with it before. Ow, my fucking eyes! He has my brain! What do you want from me? Help me find him! It's her game. She put all the pieces into play. And if she wins? So do we. Fellas. Hand over that treasure map. I want him dead. Cool. Then let's go kill this fucker. You saved the world? Yeah. Whatever. Sure. Death World, where everyone can hear you scream. From Little Spark Films. Fantastico Disaster Piece Theater Seasons 1 and 3, which is available to stream on Watch Troma Now. Hi, I'm Catalina from Little Spark Films. I'm the co-founder, and we have been working together for about 12 years. Uh, and I'm here to talk more about Death World. So, Death World actually began as a project for the fake trailer showcase for Texas Frightmare Weekend in 2022. And we went with a very simple idea, which was, how can we kill each other in really fun ways? And that was it. So, after filming a bunch of different uh, death sequences, we went back, looked at the footage, and then put, started putting together a little story and the story morphed into a post-apocalyptic uh, idea of a guy who's not so great, who's played by nerd scum Corey Ari, and his character name is Gage, uh, who's actually stuck saving the world. So instead of having, you know, a really great hero character, we have a kind of not great hero character. And along the way, he meets a demon called Rue, and she also has a twin named Anwer. And Rue is there kind of like pulling the strings and making things more chaotic. A post-apocalyptic, uh, kind of grindhouse Mad Max kind of movie. Uh, we wanted to make something super fun, ultra gory, and this is our second campaign we're running just to get past uh, the post-production segments of the film. We got, okay, so we got- You look like a happy girl, girl Wendy. So we're going to have a whole bunch of stuff that you can grab from our Indiegogo campaign. We have uh, something cool like, you know, props from the set. 
we have one side of the map here. We have another side of the map down over here that our main monster used. You can get them separately. You can get them together. Uh, but, you know, it's first come, first serve. We only have one of the, very many of these items. We'll have the costume of our character, Philly, uh, that was worn by Larissa Dolly. Uh, parts of the costume from Bass, who was Nellie Rose Spangler. We'll even have our monster mask of uh, Ninerta that was one of a kind mask specifically made for our film. Um, you know, and there's just, that's just a few things you can get. We'll even have, you know, digital soundtrack by, uh, from Paragraph Taylor. We'll have uh, digital copies of the movie, physical copies of the movie. We're going to be making Blu-rays of this for everyone uh, and hopefully getting it out to people before it goes to film festivals, but we're gonna do our best to see what we can do, okay? And this campaign's only gonna be running for about 30, 31 days, so not much time uh, to get through this. We want to finish Death World as quickly as possible and get it flying at a whole bunch of different film festivals. And we're going to be very picky choosy with where we go. And we're going to build, be building a press kit, an EPK, and getting press releases out everywhere. Some of the film festivals that we want to aim for are Genre Blast, Nightmare Film Festival, Nevermore Film Festival, Fantastic Fest, Beyond Fest, Fantasia Fest, Popcorn Frights Film Festival, Brooklyn Horror Film Festival, Troma Dance, Film Quest, the Panic Film Festival, and Cinequest. We have faith that we can achieve getting Death Rolled into all these uh, places uh, the sooner we get our project complete. And we can't do this without your help, and we very much look forward to working with everybody and getting this movie past the finish line. We love you! Think of saunas, think of hot coffee. Now I have to be a gimp in this movie. Yeah, you have to be a gimp in this movie. Little Spark Films. We're a film collective based out of the DFW Metroplex founded by myself and my wife Catalina Cadiza. We've been operating since 2012 with a wide array of uh, different types of people. Uh, musicians, filmmakers, variety of artists, writers, uh, people who just do grip and uh, gaffing um, and stuff like that. People who only work in post-production. So, when we shot the short film for Death World, we uh, ha ran into a few last minute problems. Our uh, main monster was not available. Our main camera was not available. But, uh, you know, we keep moving forward. And the really cool thing that ended up happening during the shoot was we had an amazing art department. Art department and makeup department, they kind of covered, uh, they ended up having to do multiple um, multiple jobs. But the addition of uh, Reagan and Steven was insanely helpful. They like did set dressing, they made the monster, they made the monster mask. Uh, it was really, really awesome to be able to let everyone just kind of infuse their own uh, idea of what they wanted the movie to be. It is really fun to have that relationship with all these different artists who are also wanting to make something fun and interesting. And of course, we have our main, our main uh, art department makeup people like Wendy, Tori, who is also acting, uh, which is insane because she's grown so much over these last several years and we're very excited and proud of her. And then of course Lilith, uh, and Lilith actually ended up cooking for everyone. So we were able to get homemade meals and actual um, farm fresh, because she lives on a farm, farm fresh uh, food for everyone, which was awesome too. Some of the things we need help with to get finished in uh, Death World is our color grading, uh, score for the entire project, mixing and mastering of the audio, um, and then, you know, we have some VFX and stop motion animation on the way. We have a lot of people helping us out. We have Manifestive, Paragraph Taylor from Manifestive and Secret of Boris is on, the, is on the job again. You know, he worked with us on several of our films. Mark Beale, the director of Inchiridion, or Bloodsucker's Handbook and uh, Bloodsucker's Planet, he has a new movie coming out and he's helping us with our stop motion animation. And Icon One, who does a lot of work with a lot, uh, Manifestive, is handling um, our VFX. So, if you're not familiar with some of these people, Manifestive is a pretty amazing band based out of the DFW Metroplex that does a lot of industrial goth synthwave style music. Uh, very uh, comparable to like Nine Inch Nails and stuff Trent Reznor does. Lilith, the vibraphone player of the band, also co-founder. 
Uh, she was our art director on set, as well as uh, playing one of our Cenobites in previous Hellraiser fan films that we did. She, we've been working with Manifesto for uh, probably the entire time Little Spark Films has been operating. So, in conclusion, thank you for coming to uh, our Death World Indiegogo campaign, checking out our video and what we got. My name's Joe Monco, co-founder of Little Spark Films and writer-director of Death World. You know, thank you again. Check out what we got. Don't forget to go to littlesparkfilms.net to see the rest of our stuff. Have a good one. Okay, that's all right. <laughs>